Hey guys, it's Timmy, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So as you see on your screen, WrestleVotes sent out a very interesting tweet this morning that caused a lot of buzz online, stating the following. Seems like the first real shot has been fired. Sources say AEW has made an outstanding offer to a current big-time WWE superstar. An offer that is almost too good to turn down. Things are really going to get interesting. Now, according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com, that superstar, top big-time superstar, is Randy Orton. Talk about Randy Orton in a second. First, we talk about AEW. It was confirmed to us through a source that AEW officials will not engage in any type of contract tampering. If you're unaware what contract tampering actually is, it is when a company reaches out to a contracted talent of a different company before said talent is actually allowed to field other offers while they're still under contract with said company. So take, for example, the WWE and Kyle O'Reilly. WWE reached out to Kyle O'Reilly before his contract with Ring of Honor had expired, I believe during the period when he was Ring of Honor World Champion. Ring of Honor was upset that WWE had reached out and made him an offer before his contract had expired, and WWE ended up backing off not signing O'Reilly for over six more months. So with that, AEW is not looking to get themselves in any hot water by trying to speak with contracted talent of any other company. Now, where Randy Orton fits in with all this, according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com, he did report on tonight's SmackDown Live review that it is being said and confirmed to him by multiple sources that Randy Orton has openly mentioned that he would be open to speaking with AEW when his contract does expire, when the time is right. We did a little digging, and back in 2010, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter did report that Randy Orton had signed a 10-year deal with the WWE. Now, with that knowledge, it looks like Randy Orton will not be a free agent or possibly be a free agent until 2020, a whole year away, maybe even a little over a year because we don't know when in 2020 his contract could expire. But, like I said, Fightful.com and Sean Ross Sapp is reporting that Randy Orton has stated backstage to a multiple people that if the time came and an offer was to be made, he would be open to listening and talking with All Elite Wrestling about maybe jumping ships. And that's huge, because Randy Orton is a guy that you would have never thought would have even considered leaving WWE. Randy Orton is the type of guy that you see finishing his career, spending his entire career in WWE start to finish and then I guess just going into the Hall of Fame as soon as he says I'm stepping away. So this is very interesting that Randy Orton has openly stated backstage that he would be interested in maybe one day wrestling for All Elite Wrestling. Whether it does ever happen or not is to be seen. Like I said, if the initial report back in 2010 from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter is correct, then Randy Orton is locked in with the WWE until 2020. So if we do hear anything else on this situation, we will have it for you right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, subscribe here on YouTube, and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.